Hey guys, welcome back. So I got the stuff I'm gonna need today. Uh, timing cover gasket is set up like this because it was a little bent in the packaging, so I'm just letting it uh, seal up a little bit. Here's the timing chain and stuff. Those are the gaskets that came in the kit, but I'm not gonna be using. Um, obviously the motor's over here like it's always been, but we'll get the oil pan on. The water pump will probably be able to get on. The timing chain will be able to get on. Obviously that's gonna be first, so. We'll get the lights set up here and get everything rocking and rolling. Once we get the oil pan and the timing cover on, I shouldn't have to flip the motor over anymore. So then I should be able to put the lifters in and so they can sit there in their home. And I didn't get a chance to mic this gauge with a, a die calipers, but it don't matter because I'm running it either way like it is. It would have been nice to see... Um, what the spec would have been out of curiosity but nothing we can do so get this thing put together i'm still waiting on valve springs they didn't come in today like i anticipated i'm hoping they'll come in tomorrow so once those get here i do have to take the rock arms off i just don't want them to get mixed up so i'm gonna leave them on and i'll do it do two at a time when those come so other than that i'm gonna quit the bsing and I'm going to get to uh, putting the gear on here and then we'll get the timing cover on and work our way to the bottom side. I'm going to grab, grab some red RTV and the timing cover. Oh, one thing we do have to do, though, we have to pound the seal in the timing cover. So I got to clean out the paint and pound that seal in. So I'm going to go get the timing cover. We'll do that right now and we'll get to work. All right. I forgot to film pounding this in, but I uh, have this custom made crank socket from a buddy that I used to pound it in. Um, and to check if it's in all the way, I just took and carefully peeled this rubber back and then looked to make sure the back of the seal was bottomed out. And it's bottomed out all the way around. Looks pretty flush, so that's good to go. Um, All right, so I had to pull everything back off. I got some explaining to do. So when I put this Cloy set uh, timing chain on there, um, got it off eBay, supposed to be brand new and everything. Chain was still loose. So that's not good, obviously. So I'm going to take, and I went to my buddy's house, GM Nut, and... I got some double roller set. I got a, another single roller set. We're gonna try it, see if anything's different. And if it's different, then we know we got an issue. An issue being the block was line board, anything. Literally, it could be anything. So I'm gonna try another set. We're gonna see what happens. So if you see me swapping chains, that's what I'm going through right now. So bear with me, but. Well, I 
decided to go with the double roller. That's the one that felt the tightest. There was something wrong with that other one. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm definitely not going to use it. I think it was something with the chain. So other than that, I cleaned the threads on the bolts. I put a little bit of engine lube on the gear surface that rides on the block. Uh, I put a little bit of Loctite on the bolts, removable Loctite, and I'm going to go till tight. I'm just using a 3 8 uh, wrench, or ratchet, I mean, and I'm going to go till her tight. I'm not saying go grab a half inch and tighten them, you know, but I'm just going to go till her tight. Uh, I know there's a torque spec for them, but it can't fall out if it's tight, so... When it comes time to do your oil pan gaskets, you got three choices here. One's the back one, which is this one with the little tabs. So that one goes in the back no matter what. And then you got these two. Tall and a short. For up here. Now you gotta figure out which style your old one was if you didn't keep the gasket like I didn't keep. So, I'm gonna go get the rail gaskets, lay those out, put this one in the back, set it in the back, and then set my pan on and see which one fits the best with my pan. So we shall see. Let me grab the pan and we'll see which one fits. Gaskets are laid out. First attempt, I went with the taller one. It looks like there's quite a bit of gap. Um, I'm gonna try the shorter one and see. I think it's gonna be the shorter one. Well, I guess not. No, definitely not gonna be the short one. There's a pretty big gap in the front, so. I guess it's a, it's a tall one. Yeah, there's a pretty big gap up there, so. It's definitely the tall one. It's just gonna have to suck the pan down, so. All right, I'm gonna get this pan out of here and get these gaskets out of my way. Then I'm gonna lay my silicone down, get the end gaskets in, and we'll bolt this oil pan down.
All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap today. I decided not to do the intake. I don't want to take a chance messing, messing up any of the push rods. I also wanted to paint my intake bolts nice so they look nice like the rest of the motor. They'll be the same color black as my timing cover and oil pan bolts. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow the valve springs come in so then I can change the valve springs, put the intake on, the water pump, the accessories, everything else, get the motor in, get it started up. The truck is ready. The truck don't need anything, so that's good. Once the motor has got everything on it, that should be fine. Um, I'm just waiting on those valve springs, and we can get this thing going. I'm so excited. I hope those valve springs come in tomorrow. They've been ordered for a week now, so I'm praying they come in. But other than that, that's going to be a wrap. Please like, please subscribe, check out the rest of my videos, comment. Um, give me an honest opinion on my videos. Are you guys liking my content? I want to know. I want to hear from you guys. I want to make these videos better for you guys so you guys can enjoy them. There's a lot of you guys in that one, but I hope you guys enjoyed. There we go. We'll get another one in. I've been posting quite a bit lately, so there'll be another video coming very, very shortly because if these valve springs don't come in tomorrow, they're going to come in very, very soon. They've been ordered for a while, so there'll be a video shortly of this thing going. Once this thing is going, we're going to finish the exhaust on the C20. Make sure the C20 is wrapped up. I think we got to do a brake line on this thing yet, but I'm not sure. But we'll finish the C20. Then we'll be able to get working on this thing. Hopefully, the transmission will be done soon. It should be done soon. Oh, this COVID's got everything screwed up. But other than that, enough with the nonsense. I'm going to finally finish my outro. See you guys in the next one.